Number four, we're going to let you practice. You're going to use it. You can use graphing too if you want to sketch and everything. I suggest you just do the algebraic solution right away. But if you go into your textbook or you run into problems for actual practice, a lot of times what they'll do is they'll give you one equation. So they're giving you the negative 2x plus 4. They're calling it y. The first time for a, they want you to put it in between negative 1 and 5. So as you solve a, it'll be negative 1 less than, and you put negative 2x plus 4 uh, less than or equal to 5. And then the second time you do it, part b, they want you to set your equation less than or equal to 0. So you're going to go negative 2x plus 4 less than or equal to 0. So if somebody's sitting near you, solve those two inequalities, get your answer. I would write it in all three notations. You're, you're, you'll get your algebraic solution, then put it on a number line, and then also write your integral notation so you have all three of them. Okay. All right, so on the first one, <laughs> this is the kind of a compartment type problem where you have multiple areas to work in, so you subtract four in all of them. And then we are dividing by a negative. So that would flip all of the inequalities. So this would be positive 5 halves. Flip that one. X is now all by itself. Flip that one. And that's negative 1 half. Now there's not really anything wrong with that notation that I have up there. Move this up a little bit. However, we have the small number on the right-hand side of the, I guess, answer. And so one of the things we should always do is flip it so that the negative one-half is sitting to the left. The inequality is pointing at the negative one-half, so keep it pointing at the negative one-half. It's opening to the five-halves, so keep it opening to the five-halves. That is better notation because you have a small number on the left and your large number on the right. So you should go small to big. Which then, if you rearrange it that way, when you go to the number line, it's a lot easier for people to see because then we have negative 1 half gets a closed dot. 5 halves gets an open dot and we're shading the stuff that's in between which is nice and easy to see that negative one half, that's not really a square bracket. Make it square. Um, negative one half gets the square bracket and five halves gets the parentheses. <coughs> so all three solutions there. Not that every question you do would ask you for all three, but there are times we ask you maybe for the interval. So just know how to do them all. So this one's a little bit quicker. You subtract 4 on both sides. Oh. Divide by negative 2 on both sides. Flip the inequality. So any x that's 2 or more on a number line, closed dot at 2, I should do a different color, closed dot at 2, and then we shade things that go out to the infinity symbol, um, 2 with a square bracket, and remember infinities never get square brackets. 